You're gonna need some baking soda, some black ground pepper, some coarse salt. I like to use the pickling salt. If you don't want as much of a texture, you can use regular salt. Paint of choice, you can use acrylic or latex, and a measuring cup and a measuring spoon. You're gonna measure equal amounts into your paint. So I have a quarter of a cup of latex paint and I'm gonna put in a quarter a cup of baking soda. And you're gonna stir it in really well, incorporate it and it'll kinda of go foamy and uh, puff up a little bit and that's what you want it to do. And this is the consistency that you should have. And now you're gonna add one tablespoon of the salt. And I'm already making a mess. And to start, we're going to add one big tablespoon of the black ground pepper. By adding the salt and the pepper, it's gonna give you different types of texture in the paint to give it that cement look. And the pepper will show through just a little bit to give it that dark color. And you wanna incorporate it together really well, give it a really, really good stir. And I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of the black pepper. Now this is gonna to start to get really thick, but don't worry, because we're gonna add a little bit of water into it next. I also have paint recipes for coffee grind paint and sand paint, and they all have a different look and a different texture to them. Check that out after you watch this one. And now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of water. I will have this recipe down in the description, and I'll also have the recipe at the end of the video where you can take a screenshot. And this is what I'm gonna paint. I picked this up at the thrift store for $3, and I just kinda wanted to have it have more of a full cement look. So you're just gonna take your paint and start painting away. And I kinda like to just kind of almost maybe dab it on. You don't wanna use too many brush strokes. You wanna keep that coarse texture to it. So just kinda dab it and paint the whole project. And you can see the texture that it creates already. And I know you're all wondering, with the pepper, I haven't sneezed yet. And actually, when you incorporate it into the paint, it gets rid of that uh, pepper in the air right away. Okay, my first coat is completely dry and I'm gonna put a second coat on. And I actually, I ordered this brush on Amazon. I didn't have it at the beginning of the video because it hadn't come in and my old one was wore out. So I just got this and I wanted to show you because this paintbrush is fabulous for crafting. I'll put a link down below in the description. If you don't have this in your stash, you need it. Okay, let's put a second coat on. Okay, and you will find that this recipe and this paint does dry really quickly. Um, when you're not using it, make sure you put a lid on it and it'll even still thicken up some. So you can always add a little bit more water just to make it creamy again. I'm gonna put a tablespoon in and mix it up and it'll be good to go. And for the second coat, again, you just kind of want to dab it on wherever you think it needs a little bit more texture. It covers really well, so just cover the whole thing, dab it all over, 
and it should be good with just two coats. And this is what it looks like after two coats and it's still wet and we're ready to do our finishing touch. So what you want to do is put a little bit of pepper in a little dish and just dab your paintbrush in it while your paint is still wet on your pot and just dab it all over so it'll stick into that wet paint and it gives it that cement kind of stippled look. And it's starting to come together and this is what it should look like. This is a messy technique, so make sure you have down some paper and you're doing it somewhere where it doesn't matter if you make a mess. And it's all finished, and I love the way it looks like that old stone cement. Now the pot has completely dried and I'm taking an old chip brush and I just want to knock off any of the pepper that hasn't stuck into the paint and I'm going to just brush it off the whole pot. And it's all finished and you want to seal this. I'm using a polyacrylic water-based matte finish sealer and it'll seal all of that paint and pepper and everything all into your project. And this one is actually an outdoor formula. Um, so this pot will be able to go outside when it's all finished. I'll put a link down below in the description for this product. And it's all finished. Once you put the polyacrylic on, it brings out kind of that brownie tinge color of the pepper and gives it that real aged stone look. So get some salt and pepper out of your cupboard, make this paint, and let me know what you think down in the comments. And here's the recipe. So make sure you take a screenshot so you can save it and try it out. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.